Welcome back to my channel everyone, Street Tips here. And what we're going to do in this video is set up an experiment. I've got a, a dedicated time-lapse camera here set up on the silver cell. I've got this, I've done this experiment before, but I've got this cover that's cut back a little bit further from the, uh, from the bowl there, so it's got a bigger hole so you can see down into the silver cell a little better. And so what we're going to try to do is uh, set up the silver cell and then we'll fire up the time-lapse camera and get a uh, time-lapse view of the pure silver crystal growth in the silver cell. What I have here is some pure silver crystal that's been dissolved in dilute nitric acid. And I've got about 600 grams of pure silver dissolved in what is it half a liter or uh, it says 800 milliliters of liquid so what we're going to do now is we're going to pour this through a filter and filter our electrolyte While I'm waiting for the silver nitrate electrolyte to pull through that filter, I'm going to get our silver cell set up. This is our cover. And uh, let's just set this out of the way for right now. I've got a steel hose clamp that fits around the circumference of the silver cell. Now what I'll do is install our cathode connection, copper cathode connection underneath the hose clamp and tighten it around the, uh, around the stainless bowl that we're going to use as the cathode for our silver cell. Now we'll set the cover on here and we'll cover this thing up with some paper towel just to make sure nothing falls down in there as we're working. This is the DC power supply that we use to run the cell. And I'm hooking up the cathode connection to the negative side of the power supply. Now what we'll do is connect the other side of that cathode connection down here to the copper cathode connection point on the silver cell. All right, we've got just about all of the silver nitrate poured into our filter. I've got a little bit of silver left in here. And what we'll do with that is I'll add some water to this silver, distilled water, just a little bit. And then, uh, then what we'll do, I'll pour in a little bit of nitric acid and we'll start dissolving the rest of the silver that's in this jar and then use it to augment the silver concentration in our silver cell as the silver cell operates because the electrolyte becomes depleted as the cell runs. Alright, we've got everything pulled through this filter. There's a little bit of silver in there. We'll save that filter and recover that silver later. For now, let's go ahead and take our electrolyte over here. We'll remove the cover, set it over here out of the way, and now we're going to pour the electrolyte directly into our uh, stainless steel bowl.
I've got a glass stirring rod that I'll stick in here. And we're going to fill this thing up to about within one half inch of the top of the cell with distilled water. Stir it up in here, make sure we got a neat, nice even mixture. By adding this water, I'm diluting the silver concentration down to about 150 grams per liter. Now let's put the cover on here. Get that all set up. And we'll cover it with some paper to prevent any trash from falling down in there. Here's our anode basket. It's just a little Tupperware cup that's got the holes cut in the bottom and a lid that fits on top of it. And what we're going to do is I use a Craftsman vacuum cleaner filter bag. I got this at Ace Hardware. And we're just going to Open this up, get the bag out, and turn it inside out so that the seam and the tag are on the outside, like that. Now what we'll do is stick the vacuum cleaner bag on our anode basket, push it down in so that it bottoms out. And then we're going to use, I'm using my chin to hold this tube in place. We're going to install this retainer ring to keep the basket from coming out of place. Just like that. I use a sharp razor and trim away all of the excess material. And there's our anode basket. Now we'll charge the anode basket with some impure silver. This is cement silver that's been melted into these granules and then poured in water to form these pieces like this. Present a greater surface area to the electrolyte. I'll take the cover off the silver cell and we're going to submerge the anode basket down into the electrolyte. I'll cover this back up. I pour pure silver, about two and a half troy ounces of pure silver around a uh, 10 gauge copper wire. And then now what we'll do is go up here to the power supply. We can make it. And what we'll do is connect this to the positive side for the power supply. All right, now we're just going to let this, what, what it'll do is just sit on top of the impure silver in our anode filter basket, but for now I'm just going to leave it over here out of the way. Now let's get our time-lapse camera set up. And what I'm going to try to do is catch a time lapse of the silver growth in our silver cell. Okay, let's plug a power supply in so we got continuous power going to the camera. I'm going to turn the camera on, time lapse. And now what we'll do is install the anode electrode bar and now we'll turn on our power supply up here uh oh 
8.7. How the heck to get that? I must have bumped the knob there. And we want 3.5 volts. There we go. 3.5 volts. We're pulling 2.7 amps through the cell. Here we go. We've got a time-lapse camera on there. We're going to try to capture a time-lapse of the crystal growth down in our cell. I can see some crystals already starting to form down in there. The electrolyte looks like it turned a little bit cloudy. Don't know what caused that. That's not normal. It shouldn't be like that. We're going to go ahead and run this anyway until we can process all of the silver that we have in this container through the silver cell. And then what we'll do is we'll harvest that silver and then make up a new batch of electrolyte and run the uh, silver crystal back through the silver cell a second time. All right, this will conclude the video. Thanks for watching.